What's going on guys? So if you're watching this today because you're trying to figure out one of the best mods that you can do to your Subaru 5-speed, whether that's a WRX, Forester, just a base Impreza, and you have a 5-speed uh, below 07, this mod is for you, and it really makes a big improvement. It's not really a mod, it's more of like a maintenance item that Subaru really didn't make into a maintenance item. So if your car shifts like crap, like it jiggles like it's in neutral when it's in gear, like mine does on my rally car, then you really should replace this shifter bushing. Now Subaru does make a replacement part for this bushing, and it is a little bit cheaper than this one that I have here. This is from Turning Concepts. It's not as good of a bushing uh, on the original Subaru one, and uh, this is designed that it's easier to replace, so if you have the car that long, uh, and you ever have to replace it again, it'll be easier the second time. Now, my transmission is out of my car right now, so it's gonna be a lot easier for me to replace it, but it is 100% doable with the transmission in the car. It's just kind of a pain. Uh, but you can definitely do it. It's a lot easier than pulling the transmission. My transmission is broke right now. That's why it's out. You don't have to do that. So I definitely don't recommend replacing it like that. We'll actually take a look at what it looks like on the transmission and where you're actually going to replace it from. Now, as you can see here, it's covered in mud, but this is the actual joint that you're going to be replacing. So all that side-to-side -side movement that you get when you're in gear is literally this. As you can see, that bushing is flopping around, just it has literally no stability in it. As you can see here, this is a roll pin. This is what you actually have to remove to get this out. To get a punch that is approximately the same size as this, you don't want it too small because it'll get inside of there and start to mushroom it out at the end. You don't want that because it's going to make it really difficult to remove and you want to reuse this part because I didn't get a new one. So you want to get a punch and then you just tap it out and you slowly remove it all the way out and then this whole joint will come out. And then you can just remove this from here from your shifter linkage and throw the new part on and then reinsert your uh, roll pin back in and then you're good to go. Sounds pretty easy right now, but I have had trouble with roll pins like that on supers before, especially with the axle roll pins, removing those all the time. Uh, you can have quite a few issues with them and you end up having to replace them. So it's not always a bad thing to have those. And then original roll pins or like other roll pins that you buy off the shelf really don't work in Subaru. They're sized kind of differently uh, and they're kind of just a different design altogether. So I wouldn't recommend throwing in a different style of roll pin in there and get the actual like spring clip, I think is what they're called or something, buy Subaru specifically. Anyway, we're going to throw this on right now and we'll actually see the difference that it makes with how firm the shifter is. All right, we got the old piece off. Now you can really see the difference between the two and how much this really needed to be replaced. Now, please excuse my nasty bench. I'm very busy at work on the Datsun, on the Subaru, broken transmission, uh, whatever I'm trying to do with that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, and you can see that this is really just a good noise maker now. That's, that's about it. That's a lot of movement, a lot of slop that's always being translated into every shift that you do, searching for the gears. And if you don't have a short shift throw, there really is a lot to be desired with a Subaru transmission. Um, now, new one. Can't move it at all. It's pretty stiff. It's got a very stiff polyurethane uh, bushings in it that are gonna last you a long time. But just in case you do have to replace this, they did make this piece removable. So all you have to do from now on, instead of removing that roll pin, all you have to do is crack this nut and bolt loose, pull it out, and you can order this part just from them. So that's great that it's removable because then you don't have to worry about doing all that hassle again. It's much easier just taking one bolt off rather than uh, the roll pin and then the other bolt. So definitely a big improvement. I'm really excited to actually get this thing in the car and see what it feels like to shift with this. Uh, should make a huge difference. So we're gonna bolt this on right now and uh, we'll see what kind of difference it looks like with it on the linkage. All right, let's check out the only shiny part on this transmission that I've got. Um, yeah, this is amazing, honestly. That's how much movement is in there compared to before. Uh, and then going into gear, just like that. There's first, second, third, fourth, 
and you know how it works. I just popped that out. Uh, I was having trouble with that earlier. That is an issue that I have with mine. So I need to fix this. The cup likes to pop out all the time. Uh, but yeah, this is good. I'm going to throw this back in the car. I'm not going to show you guys that. Uh, and then we'll see the improvements when it's actually in the car and how this thing shifts. And as you can see, it shifts like a dream now. A lot less movement once it's actually in gear. Neutral actually feels like neutral and it doesn't feel the same once it's in gear. Definitely way better than before uh, and makes a huge difference. So really looking forward to a lot less miss shifts. Uh, or at least uh, I lost my excuse for all the miss shifts that I've had. With that, I am going to end this video out. I don't want to drag it out any longer. I appreciate you guys watching if you stuck around. And hopefully you liked the video. I know it wasn't that long or anything like that. But if you have a Subaru in 5-speed, it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, if you've never replaced that bushing and it shifts like crap. Because mine did for sure. So made a huge improvement. Can't wait to actually race with this thing now. Probably going to be a lot better. Hopefully something else doesn't go wrong with it. But <laughs> we'll see when it actually comes down to it. Anyway, guys, i got to get back to work on the Datsun. We'll see you guys with uh, whatever video I get coming out next. See ya.